Hey, Study Crusaders, we want to go to our professor, Professor Vincent Racaniello. He's a professor of virology at Columbia University. He's been with us from the very, very beginning, which is amazing. He's the um, host of the podcast, This Week in Virology, microbe.tv. You must watch and listen to that. Professor, how are you, sir? I'm well, thank you. Post-Thanksgiving, everything's cool. Indeed. Let's uh, ramp it back up here because right now it looks like Pfizer, they're sending out, like the vaccines are in the, in the mail, uh, which is pretty amazing. I saw this from the, someone in Moderna. He said, uh, COVID, there's a quote, uh, this is not a complicated virus. Is that true? Do you believe that? No, no, no. That, that would only be said by someone who... Uh, doesn't fully appreciate the complexity of all viruses. They're all amazingly complicated. I mean, just think, they have to get inside your cells and take them over and reprogram them to make more viruses. I don't know what could be more complicated than that. <laughs> I guess that's right. Um, the, let's talk about the safety of it. What do we know about mm -hmm. uh, any side effects that anyone in the trials have had? So, so far... The main side effects, and they're not insignificant, include soreness at the injection site, fever, muscle aches. Some people report headaches. Some people report, you know, migraines, which are disabling in many people. Uh, general le malaise, lethargy, those sort of things. So no deaths, but, and it's only been, you know, a few months. So those are the usually common side effects you get after getting an injection a vaccine like this, it's your immune system kicking up and, and giving you those symptoms. The real question is, are there gonna be more serious effects? And that's why we're waiting two months after this second boost in these trials to keep observing and make sure, because it's in those two months that most of the severe side effects occur. For example, mm. there's a side effect called Guillain-Barre syndrome, which involves a kind of paralysis and it's been seen after flu vaccination and about two months window frame. So that's why they set that <clears throat> time frame at two months, just to make sure we don't oh. get that kind of sign. Oh, so in the past with flu vaccines and, and other vaccines, um, I'm assuming, uh, it's, it's been two months before just Guillain-Barre chimes in or just yeah. other types of side effects too? Uh, Guillain-Barre is the main one that we're concerned about. Uh, and wow, that takes wow. about two months to come up. So that's why they've made this window. now. You know, they've only looked at tens of thousands of people, and that's the other issue that people are worried about. Some side effects are, you know, one in a hundred thousand, even one in a million, and you're not going to pick that up until the vaccine has been in people for a while. But those are really rare. And so for people who are worried, I would say if this looks good in two months, it's going to be okay. And it would be a risk you have to take, but, you know, it's, it's less of a risk to get the vaccine than to get COVID-19, I would say. Wow. That was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.